across the country, people are mourning the sudden and tragic death of a young basketball star from Roxbury. Even LeBron James took to Instagram to remember Terrence Clark. The 19-year-old was killed yesterday in a car crash in California where he was working out to get ready for the NBA draft. By all accounts, Clark had a bright future on the court, but he was also admired for the person he was in the community. WBC's Paul Burke is in Dorchester with the story of a young life cut tragically short. Paul? From NBA All-Stars and coaches to those that know him best from his roots here in Boston, the tributes for Terrence Clark keep pouring in. Electrifying on the court, an inspiration to his community. On Friday, both the NBA world and his hometown here in Boston are devastated over the death of NBA prospect Terrence Clark. Heartbreaking situation. I just froze, you know, it just, it was shocking. Terrell Holland's coach Clark, while the two were at the River School in Weston, and shares these clips of Clark as a young player. He was a great person to be around. I saw Coach Cal said, you know, he dominates the room with his presence. The 19-year-old just completed his freshman season at the University of Kentucky and was in Los Angeles getting ready for the NBA draft. Yesterday, police in California say Clark was speeding, ran a red light, collided with another car, and hit a light pole. Celtics star Jalen Brown posted this photo with Clark on Instagram, writing, the world didn't even get to see how much potential you really had. Kimba Walker reacted to the devastating news after last night's game. Very tough news, man. He's a very, very good kid, you know, just always smiling, always energetic. He was about to get his opportunity, too. Long before Terrence Clark was putting up big points for the University of Kentucky, he was spending long hours here at the Vine Street Community Center in Roxbury. It was here he was honing his skills as a child, getting ready for his bright future. He worked hard. He, he was very, very diligent at, at obtaining the skill set, and, and he, he spent hours here. Even as recently, he, he'd come here at 6 or 7 in the morning to, to, to work out. The city of Boston has lost, lost a, uh, a wonderful human being, an awesome ball player that was going to the top. I'm told that the young basketball players really looked up to him as a hero and as an inspiration, not only as his skills as a basketball player, but at his smile in the community. A visual will be held for him tonight at 7 p.m. We're live in Dorchester. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.